So, first of all, Jacob, just how are you and the rest of the players feeling heading into this game at the weekend over after the last week of with the COVID situation and obviously injuries as well? Yeah, I'm feeling um, good in myself. Um, I've had a good few weeks of training. I was one of the lucky ones to not get COVID. Um, I know a few of the other boys um, uh, struggled with it, but I think quite a few of them are vaccinated and got the boosters, so that kind of helped and it didn't have the same effect as it did last time. So that was positive, really. And um, quite a lot of them have come back into training. Well, I think most of them are back in training now, um, yesterday. And yeah, everyone seems absolutely fine. So yeah, really good news. Has it been frustrating for you as a player who was sort of fit to play to have those two games postponed? Yeah, I found it really frustrating. Um, to be honest, we was here on Boxing Day, probably found out at the same time as the fans that the game was going to be off and I was um, fr more frustrated than anyone else really. I was dying for the game to be on. I knew we'd, had, we'd have kind of a, uh, not as big of a squad to go into the game, but we still had a team ready to play. So, so yeah, it was disappointing. And then for the, um, what game was it? I got the Sheffield United game um, to get called off away at Bramall Lane. I know quite a few people coming to watch that game um, under the lights. It was... Uh, a stadium that I've always wanted to play at and for it to be called off was was really disappointing but we'll get the chance to play them again we'll have to catch up um, play a bit of catch up for everyone in the season but that's kind of how you pick up momentum game after game so yeah it's um, we can kind of look at it in a, in a good way so, so what's the last week been like for you on the, on the training field? <laughs> Not many numbers but it's kind of been short and sharp um, the gaff wasn't in so close took it and yeah it was really enjoyable um, we was kind of planning for games as normal so there was not much difference in training um, so yeah it was still fully focused on the games um, but no there's kind of been just the difference that there's not been as many players um, but it's just been really enjoyable as normal and we, we, we all of us, of us as a squad was disappointed that the game was called off on a personal note, obviously coming to the end of the, the year now, how would you reflect on 2021 and, and your development this year? Um, yeah, 2021, I've really enjoyed it. Um, obviously got a League One medal, um, which is probably the proudest thing um, that I've done so far in my career. Um, my biggest achievement, really. So, yeah, it's been really a really good year. And then to kind of go into the championship and play every game as that's also been a proud moment for me and something that I'm really trying to, to keep going. As I've said, I've really enjoyed 2021 and hopefully 2022 can be just as good. Obviously, we start 2022 against Blackpool. What are you expecting from them? Um, two up top, I think, with Medine and Yates. I've got Lavery, who's uh, just come back from injury as well, who was a live way when we played against him at the KC. So, yeah, we're going to have to be um, fully switched on to the threats that they offer, they're all three of them are kind of different players. Um, Medine good in the air, backs in well, and he's, he's experienced. Um, and I think they're a decent team. They're well drilled, got a good shape, a uh, tough place to go as well as we as I found it last year. Um, lost 3-2 in, in the last minute, I think it was, which was kind of a bit of a kick in the teeth. But we're kind of going to go there with, probably remember that from last year, um, and just try and go get, get three points. As you mentioned, we came from behind to draw against them at the end of September, earlier this season. How much do you think we've improved as a team since, since back then? Massively. Um, I don't think we kind of had a string of results under our belt. Um, we was kind of playing not on much confidence, um, as you could probably see in them games. But since we've picked up a lot of positive results, um, we're just going to go into the game with more confidence. Um, a bit of weight off our shoulders, really, but we're obviously dying to go there and, and perform. So, yeah, you probably see a different shape as well, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't quite know what we're playing yet because um, we're quite adaptable. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what they have to offer for us this time around. And after having the last two games postponed, you must be eager to return to action and try and bounce back from the defeat of Forest a few weeks ago. Yeah, it seems ages ago, the defeat of Forest there. Quite a lot's happened since then um, a very very disappointing defeat really kind of a little bit unfair but football is unfair if you watch the I don't think it's a penalty but you just got to kind of get on with it and hopefully we can maybe get something back in the Blackpool game because the refs give one against us that's um, definitely not a penalty but yeah it has been a long while and the, I think 
but I'm personally dying to, to get out there in front of the, the away fans and um, hopefully put on a good performance for them. You mentioned the away fans there. How good would it be to, to start the new year by getting a win and, and kicking off in the, in, the, in the right way? Yeah, massive, I think. Um, yeah, I think the away fans have been absolutely terrific. Kind of the driving force um, for us and it's always good when you're, you're going out to play and you've got a decent following. Um, and I like that personally, like playing in front of big crowds and, and things like that. But yeah, to, if we can go get three points, no matter if it's New Year, whenever, kind of three points is massive. But, but definitely if starting off 2022 with three points, it, it'd be brilliant.